Well, it was just yesterday that Nate, the ABC weatherman, said he had a sneaking suspicion there might be a third coming of Cyclone Penny. And I think he was right in a weird way. The Penny is going to have a third coming as Riley. The remnants of Penny will re return, will come back, will have a third coming as Riley. The third coming of the three dancers in the cottage garden. 120 plus 120 plus 120 is 360. The number of degrees in a circle. Penny, Owen and Lily dancing on each side of Riley. Angel, Caesar and Marcos dancing on each side of Riley. The three identical triplets and the supermoon the circle on Riley's Manic Monday, 21st of January 2019. The pond is round, the penny is round. Riley is triangular. And he's inside the circle. And Perth in Western Australia. Perth means thorny bush and Perth is the destination of Riley. That was confirmed this afternoon by the band Poison and the song Every Rose Has Its Thorn. Perth means thorny bush or thicket. Let's take a look at the weather now. It's been another afternoon of severe thunderstorms, Graham. Yeah, it has been, Jeremy. I suppose the good news with it is some areas have picked up some really quite decent rainfall, although it hasn't been widespread at this stage. Have a quick look at this warning area. We can see how extensive those storms are from the ranges of the mid-north coast all the way down towards the northern parts of the southern slopes. Damaging winds, large hail and heavy rainfall are associated with those. Now, some of the rain and showers off those thunderstorms is just showing signs of moving into the far western suburbs of Sydney and showers that have been sitting offshore are also starting to move a little closer to the coast so we should see a little bit of rainfall in Sydney overnight tonight but it should be patchy and light. Now that rainfall has been patchy mostly light but there have been a scattering of falls in excess of 10 millimetres. Ogamble south of Tamworth recorded 24 millimetres, we've had 13 at Cooler and 20 at Shooters Hill, 47 millimetres fell at um, uh, uh, sitting around parts of the central tablelands and uh, that includes Bathurst Airport where we've also had reports of some uh, strong and gusty winds and we also saw those winds reaching about 70 kilometres per hour at the airport there. And there's been hail reported at Dalton. Now, heat rather than cloud is actually going to be the major feature for most of the state in the coming week. We've got a pool of very hot air set to stall over the inland of the state. And it's going to push closer to the coast as we move through next week. Tomorrow should be the last in this current burst of thunderstorms and shower activity. And they could be a little bit more widespread over the southeastern quarter of our, the inland and ranges tomorrow. Now, total fire bands cover parts of South Australia and Tasmania with Hobart and the Mount Lofty Ranges included but not Adelaide itself. Canberra has a good chance of a thunderstorm which could be severe. Now severe thunderstorms will remain a threat. Gusty winds are likely to trigger raised dust with some local falls around 10 to 30 millimetre range under thunderstorms. So in the northeast we've got mostly dry conditions, generally sunny skies and relatively light winds. On the waters though we are expecting to see northeasterly winds freshening as we move through the afternoon. Further south and we've got overcast conditions. We expect to see a potential of showers and thunderstorms developing on the ranges and they will push through to the coast in the evening. We've also got freshening northeasterly winds on the uh, waters, particularly as we move into the afternoon. Over the inland we've got a very hot day, dry through the west and north. We've got showers and thunderstorms about the central and southern inland. Some of those could become severe. So in Sydney tomorrow we're also expecting light and variable winds in the morning. A fairly cloudy day, although we will see sunny breaks. Lows of 19 to 21, reaching tops of 25 to 31. A little bit of overnight drizzle. Should be mostly dry. Any showers or thunderstorms are more likely on the ranges, and it really does start to heat up next week, Jeremy. Graham, thank you. Here's Joe O'Brien.